Hello, Lighty. It is Santa Apple Two here, and today I want to do something a little bit different. Now, if you've seen my channel before, you've likely seen I play on pretty much the same world that I've played on for a while. I did a world tour, and those are like my most popular videos. And so, what I want to do today is because I've played on the same world since the 360, I wanted to show off what that world looked like when it was on the 360. Because my earliest videos date back to I think the Bedrock Edition on the Xbox One. So I've never actually showed it off on the 360 edition. Now, before we get into it, I also wanted to show this little this little loading screen because so many of you guys accuse me of being a creative. You will see there it says created in survival mode. That is the best proof I have to say that this world is 100% survival. It was created in survival. It always has been survival. And uh, yeah, I just want to show that off real quickly before starting. And uh, furthermore, if you're new to the channel, I'm going to try and do this tour as if you are someone who has never seen my world before. But in case you are interested, I do also have like a fairly updated version of the world. Um, I did it last June. Obviously, we've made some changes since then. But if you want to check that out, I'll try and throw something on screen here and it'll be in the description as well. But uh, otherwise, let's just get into it. So first things first, when you come into my world, you will spawn in here at spawn. And I don't know if it still works, because I've gotten a lot of questions about this. The way I used to figure out where spawn was, was at least on the 360 edition, when you tried to place lava around spawn, Minecraft was like, yo, we don't want people burning in lava. And so you couldn't actually place lava anywhere within these walls. And so you would just kind of walk around, and that's what I did, and try and place lava all over the place to figure out what spots you could put lava and which ones you couldn't. And then that would just tell you where people are going to spawn in your world. And so I did that a bunch of times until I figured out this big old square where I was like, hey, people are going to spawn in here. And uh, we kind of trap them because I had a lot of people coming in here to try and grief. So we basically just have this little spot where people can jump around on slime blocks when they first get into the game. And probably our first difference between the, uh, the current world and this one is all of these signs are just empty. I put them here with the intention of making rules and I never actually filled them out. So if you want to see what the rules are, those are on the updated version of the world. But uh, yeah, this was basically meant to be like a little a little trap for people to spawn in. And you'll also see up there, I don't think I have that anymore. I did have the idea of, because this was a jungle, I wanted to have like a bunch of little tree houses all over the place. And uh, well, that never really panned out. So uh, if I do come over here and I want you to come into the world, because when you come in, you won't have any privileges, I will open this little gate for you and you can walk on down here into our little spawn area. Now, it's not a ton... I'll be honest, it's kind of like a little little extra gateway in case for some reason that one's open. And so you'll come in here. Um, if I do want you to get out, I'll then open that door. But first things first, I have just a few little things that you can grab, like some armor. Uh, I think I have some tools in here. Maybe I have some food. Yeah, we have a little bit of food in there. So I basically want to just give people a way that they can start. I can also hear a bird outside. Um, I give players a little thing to start so that, you know, when you get into my world, it's not completely foreign. And then you are off into the wilderness. Now, in my current version of the world, I have a little road that'll, like, lead you out of here. But originally on the 360, you were kind of on your own a little bit. So you were free to venture into the world. I would normally lead you over to the city. But if you wanted to just come out here, the first thing you would probably notice is over here, we have the Gladiator Arena. Now, this is one of the older things in my world, obviously, since it's on the 360 edition. Um, it's basically just a spot that I built that... I don't know, I really liked making big projects, and so I wanted to have something where, you know, you could come in here. Originally, I think it was just so that we could fight and have fun, um, and then we turned it a little darker uh, because we have a prison over there that I'll show off in a moment, where prisoners, if we had too many of them, we would allow them to come in here and basically fight to the death in order to get their freedom. Now, we don't, we don't imprison people unless they, like, griefed or did something horrible, but uh, this was basically meant to be kind of entertainment. We have a bunch of seats all around, and then over there was meant to be for, like, you know, royalty or, or, like, my friends and stuff. We'd sit up there. Everyone else would get to sit in the sands over there and just watch the people hash it out. <laughs> I don't know. We thought it was fun. We've had a few fights in there. So far, I don't remember if, especially on the 360, if there was anybody that was actually in prison who got to use that. But uh, we had fun with it. It's a great way, you know even if you just make a little pit to have your friends fight in it's a lot of fun when you do something like that but uh yeah and then over here what i have um is i built a prison like i said because i had a number of people who just loved oh i fell in a hole i have a number of people who just love to grief the world 
and it really got annoying where people that would just steal normally stealing we would just have them pay a fine or something like that but if you did something bad i wanted to have this little area over here where you could actually go and you know serve your time normally we would have people serve like short sentences or especially if it was like a pretty minor thing i would just have them pay a fine and it was no hassle about it and so i thought i was real fancy for coming up with this little redstone design you pull that little lever and then it drops down this nice gateway and it's called the tadpolia state penitentiary because you know my name's tadpole or tadpole and the city's called tadpolia and then uh, the guards will come in through here. Oh, that sucked. The guards will come in through here. And uh, they'll pull down that gate, which opens up all of the rooms over here so that people can walk in. Um, so I guess on the 360, we only had the one guy in there. Scott, if you're watching this, um, you were in prison. Because he was a friend of mine that was uh, from Ireland who just started talking crap on the US one day. So we threw him in prison. And uh, yeah, we basically have these cells that have like a little toilet that uh in hindsight i think i had to put that in later that little piece of cobblestone because we did have somebody try to escape through the toilets and uh you could put your stuff in a chest here sleep in the bed spend out your couple of days if you did something bad and then for the people that were working here at the prison namely my friend ty oh come on open up uh you, you would have a little warden's office where you know you would be able to come in and uh, just do your duties. Yeah, there they are. He had these little armor stands here, which we thought were real funny to have them basically be uh, like guards that he would have protecting him while he sat here talking to the prisoners or talking to whomever he needed to talk to. So we definitely did this up a little bit because not that many people were in prison. I just think it's a, it's a wonderful little thing. And you also have these little areas where the guards can patrol around the top and always be looking in. I thought it was wonderful. Wonderful idea. And, uh... This is definitely one of my favorite early projects. And also, if you've seen the New World Tour, one big thing you will notice is there is no Dark Oak anywhere to be seen. And that is because, as I mentioned, I think in like my first World Tour, uh, this was all just one field, as you can see how it is right now. Um, after the fact, I decided, you know, it would be real fun to try and make this. When they added uh, Dark Oak, I loved Dark Oak. So I planted just a ridiculous number of saplings and built a force that goes all the way around here, and yeah, I have not seen this as a field in a quick minute. We also put a, a secondary wall around it, just so that even if you got out of the prison somehow, you weren't going to be able to get out of that, so the prison is now very secure for its, I think, three total uh, inmates that we have, so definitely a bit of a lost cause, and then uh, nowadays, we also have a city that kind of presides around the Gladiator Arena. As of now, I mean, it, it's just hilly. This is what it was for years up until about a year and a half ago when I put a bunch of towers in. So, yeah, for the most part, unless you were coming out this way, there was no reason to be in this part of the city. And uh, normally the way you would head if you left spawn is you would head up this way. And firstly, you would take a stop at this building right here, which I know is not the prettiest thing. But when I first spawned into the world, I actually spawned right around here-ish. I don't know exactly where it was, but it was somewhere in this vicinity. Um, it may even have been over there. And this is where the spawn used to be. And so people would spawn up here um, or over there. And I made this bridge so they could cross over here. And initially, we just had it to where, you know, you could get a couple materials, um, some food. Wow, things look very different on the 360 than they do now. Um, you get a little bit of armor and supplies. Basically the same stuff that I had to offer at the uh, at my new spawn area and so i just wanted this to be a spot where if you join the world you would have fun and be able to to enjoy yourself and then i know it's not there now but the reason this button is here is because this little area right here as you can see there's definitely like a specific trail um we used to have a rail system that took you directly from spawn to my city that's out that way i have since torn it down because i just thought it was horrible and uh yeah i just didn't want it and then that right there, I'm not going to show it too much. That's basically just a little house that my friend made. Uh, when you came into the world, I said, look, you can build a house basically anywhere you want. And he wanted one right there. And it's been griefed so many times that, you know, we've had to rebuild it over and over again. But that's, you know, that's a fun one. Uh, this right here was after we decided to destroy this little piece right here. Um, we put in a nice little subway. And I know it looks nothing like it now. But at the time, when I looked up like a Subway restaurant, 
this kind of thing popped up, so I thought it was real funny to make it like Subway, like the restaurant, instead of, uh, you know, the, the Pathway Underground. I know, hilarious. It looks pretty much the same as it does now. Um, you get in this rail, and it should take you all the way to my castle. So this was just another way to get to the city if, you know, you didn't want to take a walk. And then you'll also notice over here, one thing I do want to show off because I have since destroyed this. Um, I do have currently like a little industrial district right over there that I think is, is real cute, real adorable. Okay, so over here is like a little basically cult building that people made. What was it? The Judgment Hall? Home of the most sensational order of order. Yeah, this was basically a cult. Somebody came into my world and created, and I had to find, and I don't really know what this is. Order asks that you relinquish all weapons and armor. We're not going to do that, and I want to see what this little cult is. Oh, why did it have to play that eerie music when I got down here? Okay, so they basically just had a farm down here. My bad, I've, I have destroyed this a long time ago, so I don't remember this being here. Yeah, they basically tried to make this secret order where they could recruit people from spawn, and suffice it to say, it didn't really work. So, uh, yeah, this was technically the second ever uh, cult that existed in my world. And then before you head out of spawn, there's really one last thing that I want to show off, and that is the baseball stadium. Now, if you haven't seen my channel before, I am a huge St. Louis Cardinals fan, born and raised in St. Louis, love them to death. Uh, I try to watch as many games as I can, and so... Oh, oh, beautiful. Uh, one, one summer, I was, you know, watching baseball with my dad, and I decided I wanted to make a baseball stadium. Now, this is by far the biggest single project I have ever embarked on. Because this took me probably three months to build, because firstly, I had to clear out a hill that was, like, taller than that hill over there, or that one. Well, I don't know if it was quite that tall. But it was a pretty, pretty dummy big hill that I had to clear out. Um, I didn't have a beacon or anything like that. I just had my tools. And so I basically mined out all the dirt, and then I threw in a whole bunch of, like, wool and stuff. And the wool took me just forever to shear those sheep. And, uh, yeah, let me see if I have a bow where you can play this. The basic idea is you're going to stand up here on the mound. You'll shoot it at the uh, umpire right there. When he catches it, you'll grab it with your bow here. And then you'll, you know, hold it back for a second, fire. And then you're going to run the base path. And uh, if you get home, you, you score. And if you get shot with the arrow, you are out. It's pretty basic. Um, I just love baseball, so I thought it would be a cool thing to do. We haven't really, even to this day, played a game of baseball correctly on this. I've played it a few times with, like, my friend, uh, Philip, but not a ton to show for it. Um, once again, we still have this wonderful trail. And then, back in the good old days, when I hated this trail, and we got rid- Oh, there, yeah, you can see the minecart system right there. Um, back when I hated the real minecart system, I just literally threw blocks so I could run anywhere I wanted to go. But let's follow this rail system, and this will take you into what is now the suburbs. So as we get to the end of what was once my rail thing, you will see this is what is now my entire suburbs. And you will notice it is very much so not flat. Uh, nowadays, this entire area, I mean back that way quite a bit, is all completely flat. And I threw in a whole bunch of houses here. I forgot that this game decided to do autosaves from time to time, so give me a second. Alright, we're back. So, honestly, I prefer the way that it, it used to look in this version of the world to the way it actually looks now, but I think it's a beauty. Um, the big thing that I want to show in the suburbs that I haven't done before is the 52. This is a cult. This was the first cult in my world that my friend Ty Allen 52 created, and you can see, you know, the stairs kind of make a 5 and a 2, and this was just a weird one. Welcome to the 52. They, I, they wouldn't tell me what went on in this little cult. Like, I would just walk in here and, you know, they would have some sort of sacrifice. They'd be meeting. They'd be standing here without any armor on. They'd be holding redstone. I don't know what went on in this little cult building right here. And frankly, I don't want to know. But uh, this is a relic of the past because in my current world, this was destroyed. And oh my, is it just... A weird, weird little temple that my friends made. And then, uh, for those of you who have not seen the world, I'll show this off a little bit. Basically, the suburbs are an area... I do have a church there as well. The suburbs are an area that I built so that my friends could build houses when we started to run out of area to do that in newer places. You will notice there aren't a ton of plots in this version. If you see my New World tour, you will notice that I have a, uh, an entire mansion right there. And I'm telling... We, we filled up this area quite a bit since the 360s. This was like... 
in the 360 days, this was like the newer part of the world. And so it was something that we built so that people could have houses when they didn't want to make towers. And then uh, normally when you were coming across the rail, you would come right up and go into old Tadpolia. Now, this is where I actually used to live, and I used to have the rail cart actually go under here. I've mentioned it a few times, how ugly my house used to be, but this is what my house used to look like. I should say, there were three iterations. There was the iteration that I currently have it as, um, which is the first iteration that it was, where it was just like a small house that was literally like from there to there, and then later on, I decided I needed more space, so I added this dump truck of an addition to my house and I had this little walkway as well because like I said the rail used to come through here So you would take you straight into the city You can see that I have the sign that says Tadpolia founded March 27th of 2014 So that has been there for quite some time. This house is kind of a mess So I moved both my storage and for some reason my horses. Oh, I guess I moved the storage again um, I had just a horse stable back here in, in the back of my house for some reason. And I would sleep there. I would legitimately sleep there with my horses. So I'm not sure <laughs> what made me decide to do that. But I, I never liked this addition to the house. And there's a reason that it has since gone. Um, and then if you come downstairs, you will notice the, the nether portal is just weird. It, it has been broken for the longest time. This followed me into... Uh, the Xbox One edition, up until I moved it to PC. Now that it's on Windows 10, this is fixed and it's a nor normal nether portal. But I always just thought that was a, a cool thing about my portal, that it looks so weird. And then we have a little bit of storage if you uh, need anything. They're kind of empty. Mostly it was stuff if I got it from the nether, I would bring it back over here. Um, we have, I used to keep a little villager back there, but he has since departed. And then I thought I was real slick because I was so afraid of griefers which is the main reason I built that entire spawn. I put in this little adorable piston thing so that I could come down here and uh, get away. If anybody was ever attacking me, I'd have my little bunker with my semi-automatic melon uh, and pumpkin farm. I forgot the word for that. I have my fully automatic... How did you get in there? I don't remember you being there. Hello, Mr. Snowcolm. I have my fully automatic sugarcane farm and then just a normal carrot farm. And we have... A, uh, an infinite water source right there in case I needed that. We used to have a chicken in there that I could get eggs from. And then we have a cactus farm. Fully automatic cactus farm. That This is the only farm that I think still works. I guess that semi-automatic farm works as well. But this is one of the only farms that still works from uh, the 360 days that I still have in use today. And then, yeah, so this was the start of my bunker. And then when you came down here, it would take you to... This is the new chest room that I made, and probably the one that I was using when I last used this world on the 360. And uh, it would just have all the stuff you could need. Maybe not... Oh, no, that's right. I had moved my chest room by this point. So this used to be my old chest room. I loved this chest room. It was wonderful. It was the first time that I tried putting, like, chests in a wall and put a little design towards it. And I absolutely love it. I love these little pillars that I put in the middle of the room. I love the lava. This was just like, I don't know about you guys. This brings back some nostalgia of like, you know, the good old days of Minecraft. And then when you come in here, I was so paranoid about getting griefed. I had a little war room that I thought my friends and I could meet if ever I was getting attacked. And so I'd have my enchanting table here in case I needed to get more. I had my uh, nice little bedroom so that I would have everything I could possibly need if I ever got killed and needed to go and, and just make some heads roll for a while. And then you come up through here, and uh, I have all my underground farms. They used to be above ground, but they caused a ton of lag by the farm that I will show off in a moment. So we have all of my animals down here. I tried to breed them as best as possible, but obviously because I needed them for my baseball stadium, the sheep are the ones that are most numerous. And then back here, we have uh, all of my dogs that for some reason are trying to look away. Yeah, some little prankster came in and decided to uh, re-dye each and every one of these, so they're not the correct color that they once were, but I named them all, I threw them in here, I loved those dogs, and then over here, we had the uh, Queen Jemima and King Titus with my two princes, so I loved this, this was just basically a, a little room that I could put all of my animals in, because again, I was paranoid that the surface was going to get griefed, so I'm like, hey, I need a food storage down here, and so that's exactly what I did. And then if you come down here, uh, this is, oh, I guess I had already destroyed the armory at this point, but this is like the remnants of what was once my mini armory. I basically just had like all of my armor 
on two things of uh, chests right here where, you know, if I ever needed it, I could grab it. I don't know why I threw it this far away when the, uh, when the rest of the uh, chest room was right over there. Not sure why I decided to do that, but that's, that's just what I did. And then through here, I have a little potion making room, even though I never made potions, so this got absolutely no use. And then one of my favorite things is if you come in here, I have this little American flag. I know it's very minor, but this was one of the few designs that I was able to come up with myself. And so I thought it was very cool. I threw that in there. I thought it was real cute. And then if you come down here, um, this is... No, I hadn't been duplicating by this point. So um, I will admit I have done duplication glitches in the past, but I used to exclusively fight withers in this room and you will notice i mean it has seen better days and so this used to be all obsidian and when i brought in some withers they decided to just just blow it up like you would not believe and uh yeah you'll see the way it looks today is like mostly obsidian if not full obsidian so it looks a lot better today but in this version you can tell oh yeah this bad boy got some use and uh, i had the beds in here because inevitably when I would die, I would need some stuff. And I guess I put nothing in there. <laughs> but normally I would have like, I don't know, golden apples or something. So that if I died to the uh, wither, I would still be able to get my stuff. And go back at him and kill him. And uh, yeah, that's most of my basement. Um, aside from, I'll try and show it off very briefly. I also have this little dark room here. Where initially it was for mushrooms because I didn't know how mushrooms worked. I never actually used the mushrooms, so this didn't get much room, uh, didn't get much use, but slimes did start to spawn in here, and so, yeah, you can see the slime balls there. That's mainly what I used it for, to get slimes at that point, point. and then down at the very bottom here is where we have my nice little strip mine. It's nothing crazy. I would just, you know, literally strip mine, and then I thought I was fancy by adding stone brick here after I got, uh, silk touch, so I think it's cute. I really like it, and, uh, hopefully you enjoy it too. So going back to the surface, that's most of what I had down here. If you can't tell, I was a bit of a nut and I really thought I was going to get griefed. And so let's go to sleep and see if we can't get this uh, rain to go away. I didn't even plan a way for me to get out. That was the one nice thing about having my bedroom here. Uh, I could just jump out of my window every morning when I got up. Okay, so aside from my house, uh, I have this mine that I just showed off before. I just have this cool little entrance at the top. And then the first beacon I ever got, I believe I put right there in the lighthouse that we made. Love that white house. White house. I love that lighthouse. Um, I don't know. This was just like the first tall-ish building that I made. And I thought it was cool. Um, this is a friend of mine. That was his house. This was the house that... Who owned it at this point? Simon the cat. Okay. I had given this house to... Oh, Simon's actually in here. I forgot. Simon has since ran away. I have not seen him in a very long time. Hello, Simon. How are you doing? Uh, that is a cat that in my current version has, has since run away and I don't know where he is. So love to see that Simon's still in there in this version. This was a house that was owned by a ton of people um, that every time I gave it to somebody else, they would just treat it like crap and lose it. And then one of the things I'm most proud of is in my in the newest version, I do have a uh, an actually working villager farm, but this is what the villager farms used to look like. They were based on doors, and so I just made this monstrosity of a building that just had as many doors as possible, and I don't even know, are there villagers in here right now? I can hear a couple, I guess there are. And uh, we would just breed the heck out of the villagers. Um, we would trade with them all the time. You'll notice, yeah, I just have chests and chests of loot. That's how I was able to... Uh, fill up all the stuff by spawn i traded these with these things like you would not believe and then over here is where my original um little villager breeder was again this one used to work in this version i believe this one works and then creepers blew it up and all sorts of things happen and i kind of gave up on it and we eventually just covered this up and it doesn't work anymore but uh yeah this is what i used to call unfinished island although in my current version it is mostly finished, so I'm kind of proud of it. And then we also had the beginnings of a snow tower that I wanted to build here that I eventually just scrapped. Oh, shoot. I fell into a hole. And uh, that takes up most of uh, the older stuff that I have in the world. And then as we get towards the newer stuff, some of my favorite stuff, uh, I will begin to show off the city. Actually, really quickly, before we do get to the city, I do want to show off the farm. If any of you guys are new, uh, I loved farming <laughs> And I still, to this day, create ridiculously large farms. 
And so, uh, for whatever reason, I decided I needed enough food to where, you know, if I, if I farmed all of this, I would be able to eat for a week in real life. So, I made this ridiculously large farm, um, put some signs in there, because, you know, you can definitely not tell that's carrots and that's wheat. I don't know why I did have the stuff I did, but I don't know. And then one cool thing I do also want to show off is I have done quite a bit of landscaping, um, since I have moved this to the Xbox One, and in the olden days, I had these just disgusting looking, uh, little bridges that I would have between the, uh, old Tadpolia and new Tadpolia. They were direct, but my goodness, were they ugly. And so, I have since, like, tried to tear up most of how this stuff looks, but you could originally walk, you know, two different ways to get to the city, but here we are in the city. Now, you will notice, first things first, over in this direction... Um, if you have seen my New World Tour, everything, everything on this entire island is filled up with towers. Except for a couple of mansions that we have over here. But in the early days of my world, this area over here was actually a snowy biome. And I believe there were four total biomes. There was a desert, there was a snowy biome, there was this sort of like regular-ish biome that was in a couple of, I don't know what you call that, like an oak forest biome. But a very significant portion of my original city was actually done in the snow. And so, yeah, you can see we had the makings of uh, one of my embassy towers. Wow, this is just... I completely forgot how much of this was like this. Um, this was actually a house that I originally built for my friend Young that uh, I was going to recreate and then never actually did end up recreating. It was a nice little house that... He lived in momentarily, but he loved to be a little hermit who would run from place to place. So, this was a house that didn't get much use. Um, this is a snow farm that, for some reason, my friends enjoyed griefing. Like, my friends didn't grief terribly frequently, but this little thing right here, they love to blow up for some reason. So, rest in peace to the snow golem. I know there's a ton of sugar cane, but if you get past this, literally this little dirt hole down here is what currently still houses my uh, end portal as well as my uh, XP farm that I use and I wonder if it's still a zombie spawner in this version because it has since turned into a skeleton spawner by absolute magic that I'm not aware of but uh, in the olden days can you see what it is no it was a skeleton spawner by by then interesting this actually used to be a zombie spawner and through the updates it somehow turned into like you can see all the rotten flesh that I had it somehow turned into a skeleton spawner and then if you come down here, we have... Oh, yeah, this was the ugly days. So if you've seen my current version, you'll know I tried to make this look a little more beautiful. But when I first found the end portal, I just I just ran right in here. And I'm like, oh, cool, we're going to take what we can get. And uh, if you come down here, did I even spruce it up by this point? Let's see. No, this is just... This is what my end portal looked like. I have since tried to make it look very fancy. I have a nice little thing that goes around it. So that when you want to go to the end, it actually looks beautiful. But... Oh, wow, this is wild. Now, I do wonder, at one point, I did fill up the entire end with water. Had I done that by this point? No, I had. I was going to say, I see the city right there. I had filled up my entire end with water, but sadly, because they, they added the update that allowed you to go to the end cities, which I must have elytra by now, because they added the update that would allow you to go to end cities and things like that, and to reset your end, I had to reset it, so... You won't get to see the real old days when my end was filled with water, but wow, that's an oldie. And then I kind of dismissed it because I think it's one of the more well-known things about my city, but I also have just a ton of towers for no reason. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Wow, in my current city, this is like, I don't know, something like six stories tall. Wow, I forgot just how long this thing took me to make. So this right here was initially supposed to be a mall in my world but when i created this i thought this was i thought this was going to be a mall it is currently a uh, hospital that i have and you can see there is absolutely nothing to this wow this took me forever to build and so you can see that i left so much of it undone like this literally took years for my friends and i to finish so wow that's just a build i completely forgot about and then if you come over here um we just have a ton of towers let me actually go up inside of our tallest tower WCPM tower so I can show off what we have and to the very top we go oh wow yeah you can see by this point not even half of the city was done at this point wow 
now. Yeah, this is something that it's it's hard to describe what all I have. So please, I would insist if you haven't seen it already, go check out my new world tour. Um, this entire continent. I wonder if I have a map. I don't have a map on me. I filled up this entire continent with towers, and you can see. Yeah, we would always like try and clear out an area, sort of like I do now as well. We would clear out an area and then put in all of the roads. And then these were the plots that I think I had mentioned before that I would just like sell to my friends or have them like help me with a different tower and they'd get to build. But yeah, you can see even when we transferred this to the Xbox One, not even half of the city was done by this point. Please don't kill me. Yes. Yeah, see, this is exactly why I have these slime blocks down the middle of these because... Before the days of Elytra, we would legitimately just need to jump through the middle, land on a slime block, and hope we didn't die. Yeah, I just want to go and check out these different plots because they are so beautiful. Like, I don't know, I know this is kind of an underrated part of it, but in the olden days, we would literally just spend hours upon hours just clearing out these big old plots of land from just hills that existed here. Oh boy, that, that frame rate drop. Uh, just from the hills that existed here so that we could build these monstrosities of towers that would go on top of them and oh yeah we did this without haste we did this without like anything i mean we could have had a beacon we just chose not to and then i don't remember if we had anything in the mall yet no at this point the mall was sort of just an idea i know over there is what i initially said was going to be the mall but this area right here is what's technically the mall today Although it didn't turn out very well, I just had a ravine basically at the edge of the world. And then I'll also show off the edge of the world because I know nowadays I have like a bridge that spans out that way. And there's a couple islands and stuff that way. This was the edge of the world. This was as far as you could go. I also want to show off, but I'm kind of dreading showing off, uh, the basement of my castle because this thing will make you lag so hard. I remember in the olden days, um, I didn't even have to try and, like, put any protections in. I didn't have to worry about anybody coming down here because, I don't know if you guys can tell, my frame rates have dropped significantly since walking down here. People coming into my, my, uh, chest room would literally just be unable to walk around in here because it was so laggy. It is basically the exact same. Oh, I forgot I had naughty words on these. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> uh, it's basically the exact same as I have it now. It's, it's just a chest room. I think it's absolutely lovely. It has absolutely anything I could possibly need. It has, like, stone over here. It has cobblestone out that way. Uh, this is where, like, most of my rare stuff is. It's, again, it's just a chest room. I don't think it's anything fancy. I just love the fact that it was so laggy in here that, like, it was unplayable. And then I also want to show off, do I have the slime blocks? I do have the slime blocks down there. Um, at the bottom of my world, I don't show it off enough because it's absolutely insane. I tried to mine out just a ridiculous portion, and we took it out to uh, where the world border was at a couple of spots. And I know it's not a ton now. If you want to see the progress we've made... I don't show it off terribly frequently, but you can see a decent amount of progress in my uh, last world tour. And this is where we got most of the stone and cobblestone that I used for my eventual towers. And I don't know, it's just kind of a fun project if you ever need like a ridiculous amount of cobblestone. Just mine out the bottom of your world. And then last but not least, one thing I want to show off is I believe this was fairly new by the time I was finishing up the 360. And that was Tedpolia Federal Island. Oh my gosh, the Nonagon wasn't finished by this point. Okay, so if you don't know, this was basically an island meant to house all of, like, the government buildings that we would have for my world. And so over here, we have the bank, which, uh, you walk in, you can talk to the teller, and then if you go up the back, it has been robbed a number of times. But you could come up here, and we would have the chests, and we still do have the chests for, uh, all of my friends who would have worlds. And this is how our economy was based, you know, you would just pay one another with the diamonds that were in here. Hello, doggy. Um, but more importantly, one thing that I, I really didn't realize this wasn't finished by then. We have the Nonagon, which is meant to be, you know how the Pentagon is five sides? This one is like kind of meant to be nine, except for, it, it's basically ten, except for this last one. I, wow, I really didn't finish this. Uh, this last one is meant to be rounded, and so it's technically not a side, so we only have nine. See what I did there, but wow. So what this is now is this is like a little holding cell. And then this will lead you over to the prison. I think the idea was in place. Did I have the tunnel in place by now? I guess I did. I had a decent portion of the tunnel done by then, huh? But we have a tunnel that'll take you directly to the prison. 
And then over here, this was like the first thing I did. It should be done. Yeah. Over here, we have the, uh, we have the little like courthouse area. I don't know what you'd call it. Um, I'll sit up here on the throne and we'll hear the prosecution and defense and we'll determine if someone's guilty or not. I try to give fair trials and usually it's based on like theft and, and killing and stuff like that. It was never really main stuff. If it was a, like a really bad thing you did, we'd just kick you from the world outright. But we would have a couple of court cases here. Like, I know we had one for my friend Salbert because we said she was a nerd because she was reading too many books. So we had a lot of court cases here. It was a lot of fun and uh, it, it was all in good faith. But yeah, that's basically everything that I had in the old world. I know a decent amount of like the really old stuff seems probably the exact same to you as it is now. To me, I can definitely see where a lot of the differences were um between what it was then and what it is now so i do hope you guys enjoyed again if you haven't seen my new world tour i would highly suggest checking that out because you know this was probably like four years ago at this point three or four years ago that i played on the 360 if not longer um it, it has been a long time since this was what my world looked like so i really do hope you guys enjoyed if you did i would love it if you left a like and uh, if you're new here i would love it if you subscribed but thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys next time true skinder